Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Need some advice with a husband that cheated? Advice. My husband and I have been married for four years and been together for eight years. I'm 27 years old and we have one kid and one on the way. My husband told me he cheated on me. He said it was only one time and he regretted it. Since Covid our marriage has been rocky but I didn't think it was that bad. I don't know if I should stay with him. I love him but it hurts so much. At the moment I'm staying at my mom's house with the kids because I don't know if I should leave him or not. In a relationship I believe in loyalty and trust but I don't know if I want to ruin our family and take my kids away from their father. He said that he felt lonely and he was drunk and that his job was giving him stress and that he needed an outlet. He said he loves me that one time meant nothing and he swears that he would never do it again. I love him and I want our family to work but I don't know. In my experience as a marriage therapist, I have seen time and time again how the adulterer will minimize his slash her actions at the start of the confession. It would be a good idea to have a deeper talk with him. If he becomes agitated and begins to flip the script and blame others including you, then there is something more he's not telling you. Thank you for this information. Ultimately it's going to be up to you what you want to do. There's no wrong answer as to whether you stay or go. Either way you guys are gonna have to work out a lot of stuff. Either way will be hard. It's one of those ways to choose your hard situations. Definitely follow your heart. For me personally I just kinda look at marriage as a partnership. I hope my husband never cheats on me but if he did I would weather those waters with him. We are in our late 30s and have been together for a very long time. It's our friendship that pulls us through the most hard times. I love him so much that I believe I could forgive him. If you can never forgive him it may be hard. I wish you the very best of luck in the situation. Divorce is the biggest mistake if a relationship is not abusive. You love him then forgive him. Men and women make mistakes. We forgive each other and make the bond of marriage even stronger. No one is an angel, consequence of divorce brings suffering of all kinds to the whole family and especially to kids. Emotional damage is almost irreparable and moreover what's the guarantee the next person you meet will be better or worse either way, he won't be father of your kids. I strongly recommend you should talk to each other and renovate your relationship. Start dating again with your husband and use this mistake as an opportunity to make your marriage even stronger and loving. Marriage is all about loving each other and keeping forgiving each other's mistakes and most importantly respecting each other and driving your love out of respect, tolerance and patience. Be a true partner with each other for the rest of your life. This can either heal the marriage and make it stronger than ever, or it can come to an end. And to be honest, the decision on that is yours to make and no one would second guess you, whatever you decide. If you want to heal, we have a list of the things he must provide for the rest of his life and that you should expect in this subs wiki. There are also some resources there to help you. You didn't deserve this in any way, shape of fashion as it is 100% his responsibility that he caused it, and he has to commit 100% effort to repair the damage. For the rest of his life. You need to take the time, discuss as much as you want utilizing the resources and with a counselor or therapist if you so desire. Op, you slash Betona always has the best advice on this. I'd hope it helps you. Sorry this happened to you. It's very rare that someone owns up to it like that. Usually the spouse has to find out and there are lies stuffed into lies in a bullshit to duck in. I think you should give him another chance. That's true. Well, it eventually comes down to how much you want to understand him. Did he cheat because of the drinking and because he was under so much stress that his brain was so altered that he did something he wouldn't have otherwise done while sober and in perfect conditions? Or you want to take it for what it is and move on? I will say that taking a parent from their kids is tough. There is co-parenting, but I do know it's nothing like having the parent in the household. Why did you leave the home? 
seems stressful on you being pregnant and with a super young child to move. As a child of divorced parents when I was like three, I feel fine. It didn't affect me at all mentally because I was so young. The only time it would come up in my mind was events at school and neither parent was there. I just knew I couldn't be in the same house as him and I just needed space to think alone. I knew my daughter who is only two would not be able to leave my side so we went to my mom's. My aunt told me that sometimes things break in relationships and can be fixed, but that some things are like mirrors and when they break they can never be fixed and you have to move on. Only you know deep down if things can be fixed, and you shouldn't settle for putting together the pieces in a relationship that will always be broken, if that is how you feel. Hope the best for you, your family, and your kids. That's true your aunt seems like a smart person. Sorry you're hurting chic. This has helped a lot. I read it and it has made my mind clearer with the decision I want to make. Thank you. He slept with someone else. Physically he goes away for work at times because he works construction and with Covid work has been hard for him so he said he been feeling stress with the new baby coming and didn't come because I got laid off from work and so we have been having a hard time so he went out for a job in Calgary and he said he had a few drinks and slept with someone. This is tough, I would say take your time and really process how you feel. Be honest with yourself and contemplate if you can truly love past this. You may want to post to r slash surviving infidelity as well. I did thank you. You could always try to co-parent. Court sees divorce as 50-50. Custody is determined the same way unless certain things are met. If you're considering reconciling r slash as 1 after infidelity. If you want general support from fellow betrayed r slash surviving infidelity. That's true I just don't want to put my kids through this pain because of one mistake but thank you. But over time if you don't successfully reconcile your kids will notice. Kids are intuitive and they deserve to see what good, functioning relationships should look like even if you're not together. They need to see their parents at their best. Good luck. That's true thank you. The aftermath of what happened with the cheating progress. So my husband and I had a really long and detailed chat. I don't want to say all the details since it is very private information but we have decided to separate. I found out this wasn't the first time the reason why he told was because a co-worker of his found out and said if my husband didn't tell me he would. I did not think of separating at first but since I found this info out we decided to separate. I want to thank everyone for the support. We are gonna co-parent and go through counseling so I don't hate him for eternity. You made the right decision. You deserve to move on and be happy. Living with a lying cheater is hell. He won't change. Build a good life for yourself and your children. Good luck. Thank you. Definitely made the right decision. He's still a liar at heart if that's the only reason he told you. Good luck. Thank you. Yay for the co-worker for standing up to your husband and not putting up with it. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.